Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhang Jiao campaign. This is episode 20. We pick things up from turn 96 in the winter season of 201. So, hopping back into game, uh, we started our war with the Duchy of Longxi or the Old Leon Rebels. And basically we're at war with the whole map. We're gonna wrap things up with the Kingdom of Zhilzhen this turn. Uh, we'll, start, we'll leave a couple of generals to colonize the land. We'll take everything. And we're gonna recall all the armies, and they gotta go north because we're getting uh, attacked. And not just regular attack, there is at least five army groups over here, so it's actually quite scary. And let's get started by completing this army. Now we were looking for a third. Someone just get along with them. That's all we need. Wu Ba did die. Uh, we summoned him back and he died, so we can't really we can't really replace him. That's a little sad. I think we just take one of these high-level peasant groups, um, and then we can swap the peasants. So these are all nice level ten. Uh, I don't want to get them ruined. I know we have the renaming deal, and uh, I don't want to waste too much time just clicking names. So I will do it in between this episode and the next. So at the beginning of next episode. I'll have all the units named and we'll take a look at them at the beginning of the next episode. Uh, but here, I think we're just going to swap to a pure messenger, heavy, uh, messenger of the Heavens army to supplement this army. So we're going to just swap these guys over. And we should be fine. At least we can defend Taiyuan. That's the only condition over here in the north. Buy some time, let us finish up in the south, and then we'll crush them. Uh, we're getting siege here. She's not making any big moves. Uh, I think we're suffering attrition very soon. Yeah, starting this turn. So we might need to start moving the army down, but I'm kind of worried of how they will come through here. This could also be a point of attack into Luoyang. We also need to summon the army to face off against Liu Biao, who's coming for Jiangling. I think this is a good staging area for us. Uh, we don't have anything closer, really. I mean, yeah. I don't think we have. We have this, but we have rebels attacking them, so I don't need to do much. And Zhang Bao is also here. Alright, so let's summon... Just We're going to resummon our peasant group. We just got to hold them back. I guess yeah there we go another what we can take these who has uh reach all right you lead perfect all right they can rest up here let him come closer we'll wipe him out we have a few generals we can take in level five that's pretty high level and we have a few people we need to shuffle over i believe he's one of them Right, he's 5% to all sources. Ma Yuan Yi is not one of them. Oh gosh, I forgot who the other one is. Um, let's move armies first. We'll do the Minister stuff later. Our leader just took down Ma Tong's faction. They're going over here. I would like all the silk traders, but now is not the time to be picky. And we just can't catch him. Oh well, we just gotta keep an eye on him. The leader just have to move alone. Um, I mean, technically we still want the emperor seat. That's kind of our victory condition. So we're gonna go this way. All right, down south, we do have one big fight here at the capital. This one's a free delegate. And surprisingly, they have a few territories to the north. They did claim some land. Right. With this win, they can be recalled. We gotta shift this army back north. Let's see. That's a good building. That's a good building. Very good building. This one we can swap. 
Um, yeah, we can swap this one. We don't need food here. I feel like we need just maybe a little bit of industry just to complement this. Over here, we need to build a lot of stuff. I do want to colonize these. Um, our seasonal deployment is rather limited. I think we're down to... We summon four. We have three more. We're going to use one here. We're going to use someone weak. Someone who is not going to make it into an army anyways. Alright, he can take his time. Get us Hepu, get us uh, Gao Liang, and also sell to Yizhou or basically Taiwan. Alright, these are the last big fight here. We'll wait for that later. What are these generals doing? They should actually, yeah, they should go colonize. We'll have them march. I go through this mountain. I think we'll get there next turn. We'll retake our armor smith. It's not worth anything to us, but I'd rather have it. Execute. And there's one more commander, oh, county here. We'll capture that and it'll be over here as well. We can get him integrity, but I don't think we need that right now. I think condemn might be the best thing. Oh, these are all good. All these are good. This one's probably best. No, range. And this is armor piercing melee. They don't have a lot of armor piercing. Only 20. Post battle loot is tempting. Oh, recovery is good too. Man, tough choices. Um... I'll take Condemn. Where are they? Alright, Taiyuan Defense Force. I'm gonna start slipping down south. I do want to have a chance to help. That's too far. Never mind. Okay. Let's just go here. I need to see. They're gonna come out of this valley. That's the only way in and out. Or they could just keep sailing. That would be actually a scary thought. These two are just corruption reduction agents. They can stay put. We have a new reform. That means we have level 5 copper mine ready, which is great. Might go back to picking up some units. Uh, this is the Dadza Riders, uh, Raiders. These are really good. Uh, Lance Chosen is down here, I believe. Also very good. Yeah, these are worthless. Um, alternatively, we can go for building construction. Uh, it takes a while to move up. We're almost at 500%, so maybe going for a lower percentage one might make more sense. Yeah, like 20% to industry, that's quite nice. Only two turns each. Or we can wait for 60% and pick up like free stuff, one turn stuff. But we don't need that. That's the thing. It doesn't give us anything. Recruitment for spirit. Okay, this is not terrible. Three turns. This must be a 10 turn reform. So this can also benefit from waiting for 15%. Two turn reforms are six turn reforms. So these are pretty much as high as they're going to be. But I don't think we need some of these buildings. I'm trying to figure out where we want to go with this. I mean, technically after this, we should go for this tree right here. All right, let's go with these one-turn reforms. We can pick these up. They can help us, you know, these three. While we wait for the last 15%. Alright, where are our copper mines? Are they done upgrading? Die. So here, I think we go for school, actually. Or oh, actually, research rate first, and then school. Because we're just looking for utility, and the only thing that's still some sort of utility is like character experience. Alright, this is gonna upgrade soon. This is only one turn.
what do we have here? Nanhai. Uh, Nanhai is going to be quite... Uh, I think we can get rid of this later. After it builds up. I think we got a copy when we took over, so we kept it. Uh, but they definitely need this. It's a lot of commerce. And I think we want to go tall. We do have an administrator here. Alright, copper mine's still going. I think I want to rush it. We want this corruption reduction pretty badly. There we go. Now you can start focusing on just building stuff like that. Alright, we're gonna rush this too. There we go. I think for some of those corruption reduction officers, we can spread them out a bit more now. Artisan, Forge. All right, we, we ran out of money, <laughs> so we can't actually rush everything. But we make 44k a, a turn because all the corruption is going down really hard. So we're not going to rush everything there. So this is also a pure utility, uh, which means Camino in and then School. We do want more characters. Oh, but I gotta... Yeah, actually, it's fine. Uh, all the characters we summon back for the army are going to be on cooldown. So we can't actually accidentally assign them something. Because I was kind of worried that we would assign... But we might accidentally assign our administrator. So before we go there... Let's look at the potentials here. Jiangling is great right now for sure, but I don't think it has good potential. Nanhai, we have an administrator. Changsha, we don't have one. We're looking for commerce or some sort of commerce boost. We had someone picked out. I just, I think it's her. Yin Xiangjin sounds, sounds about right. Uh, no, uh, there's no future industry growth. I mean, she can be a backup. All sources and peasantry. She's probably good in um, Tangwu. But I don't know if we're actually building up Tangwu. Zhangke looks like a better option with Commerce. Commerce is just really good for Yellow Turbans because that's the only building that got from the base game with a super high percentage boost. And all these peasantry boosts. All these characters, nobody can be a good administrator. There we go. All right, he wins. He, he's probably going to have the right skills, too. All right, these two have potential. Yeah, he's the winner. He has the industry side as well. Um, so we're going to send him in. And these two fellas. I don't think we need two here. I feel like with all the copper mine coming online, we can spread one out. So Puji, we're gonna recall him for now and send him to another one of our. Yeah, see now it's still zero percent with him, which also means we can pull one back from Jianye. So we can actually cover about four commanderies. Yeah, we have plenty of army slots. Okay. Pu Tao, Puji. Okay, very easy to remember next turn. Good. Uh, how is our corruption looking in like just a regular place? 19%. So it's gone down quite a bit. That's why we are making so much. We're getting... It's probably the siege symbol at Hedong. That's probably what's going on. So the other positions for him. I'm pretty sure we kept it for him. I'm not saying he's great, but he's high level. We'll give him the job. We'll put him in... I want Zhangke. Zhangke, I feel like, has the highest potential in the future with all that commerce. There we go. Right now, it's nothing. It's deserted. We'll build it up. Alright, let's see. What can we do here? Decrease settlement. That's, uh, actually, that's, might, that might be actually be useful right now because we're actually getting sieged. I'm just going to give it to high-level characters. Minus two corruption. We should have filled the finance role a bit earlier. 
plus two supplies. I'm going to bypass that. No one's family, so we can't actually do that. But then I want to keep one open to flip people. So plus two supplies, just useless. I'm not going to care about that. All right. Let's get ourselves a second Emperor seat. So we're going to have them set up the siege and have them come in right after. Um, continue siege. They have the Imperial garrison, so it's going to be a tough fight. We have the peasants. I actually don't think the peasants will do well against the you know, Protector of Heavens and units like that. High armor really reduces all your you know, base damage. Yeah, these are going to murder our peasants. But that's fine. That's why we're here to fight this. Let's go take ourselves a capital here. Alrighty, it's a foggy day. That might not be a bad thing for us, to be honest, because they have a lot of range as well. So obviously assaulting from one of these walls is more beneficial for us, just because there's less towers. This one's actually better than that one because of the way this tower is set up. Here we don't run into like an overlapping tower until like... Not even here. This one won't attack inside. This one. Only this one will attack a little piece of it. So it's all clear over here. This is like the ideal place. Alright. They're not going to charge out because this type of sieges, they just don't move. Turn off auto fire. The shots are going to be quite important here. It will save lives. I wish we had lands chosen, but we don't. Alright, so we'll micro this, let the peasants come. We'll use the peasant to flood this side to force them to maneuver back, of course. And uh, we'll see what kind of damage we can do over here. Let's go. Let's see what they have. Okay. So I'm gonna let the first volley go freely and see what we hit. Couple of these guys are slow at firing. Right, he fired, he fired. Alright, ooh, second volley. That's definitely on fire. How many did we kill of these guys? Barely any. Alright. We're gonna actually call. We're gonna split these guys up. So one will shoot this. Two will shoot this. Try to be a little efficient. Alright, our peasants are on the map. We're good. Wasted up. It's like, oh, we didn't call the stop soon enough. Hold on. We're gonna come back to the tribuches. We have a city to take. Alright, don't rush too far up. These three, we'll call them three. Who's the front group? This is the front group. We'll just take this section. You guys take this section. Uh, we don't need to go too crazy with the third group. We need to bust down some walls now, which means switching to regular shots. And these we don't have to watch because they will automatically stop once the wall is broken. Back to our peasants. Climb. Climb. They're pulling back. Alright, we broke a wall. Switch to fire. Oh, did we not switch off fire? That was my mistake. I, oh, we only switched there for one unit. Um, we actually don't need to break that many walls on this side because we're actually not gonna be charging in. We have archers. We're actually just trying to try to outshoot them. All right, they're climbing. I'm gonna let them handle it themselves. They can fire freely. They don't need me to tell them what to do. But they need to turn off that. 
Yeah, they're still kind of targeting where I told them to. Can you guys stop? They're not listening to me. Alright, now we're good. Now, now they're just free firing. How are we doing over here? You guys are in. Capture this. Lock this. Finish capturing that. Hopefully you guys can just enter through the door. Three. Alright, that tower's down. These guys, I don't think I have to worry about them. If we can get the generals to come in, the generals can take care of those. Open sesame. Go, 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 go. Okay, too many units, lagging a little bit. All right, if you guys want to climb, you guys can climb. I'm not going to stop you guys. How are we looking over here? Still free firing? Let's call these four. March them up. Oh, they pulled them back. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna group all our guys in first. They just need to keep an eye out on the archers. Oh, definitely lagging a bit over here. My archers moving up. I don't need to worry about that side. I'm gonna throw our traps on them. So they're full right now. Let's see how much the traps can do. Throw them? Very shy. What's going on? That's not the full stack. Right. They have some on the wall. No, oh, they still have some outside. Alright, you guys wait. Who's inside? Like, completely inside? I think, I think you guys are kind of completely inside. Yeah, I think this group is actually kind of inside. Wow, they're hiding right outside of the range. Are you serious? Uh, don't overchase. Can't really spy on them right now. Fire, fire, fire. The arrows are in the air. Okay, it's not this group, it's this group. Back to our peasants. Did we throw it? We did throw it. Did they die? Ooh, not quite, not quite. Wait, they're not dying to the traps? We threw them. Oh, they're coming. Hold on. Throw them here. Are they dying now? Is it because they have so much armor that it just doesn't affect them? Or is it because, like, we didn't hit the right spots? Oh my god. They don't listen. Look at that. 
Oh, because they overchased. Great. That's what we need. Let's go in. We're gonna rear charge into this group. Peasants versus... Alright, we're gonna overwhelm them from the rear. Yeah, that smash attack kills their morale. Do another smash attack. We have one more. We'll use it on the captains here. Uh, we're not managing this battlefield very well. Take Lu Mo. Heal. Pull back a little. I'm gonna pull these guys away. Oh, we're losing to Lumo. Well, not surprised. Sentinels are just really good at dueling. Alright, please last a little bit longer. Just stall him a little. You can run now. Alright, we're engaged with them here. Cut through here. Alright, we routed the D militias. We have to kill the Protector of Heavens. And over here, the cavalry is still holding on. Let's see if we can kill that. Hmm. This should help. Uh oh. They can't die, they can't die. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. That's bad. That's bad for morale. Alright, hopefully we can win this so all these units can pull over here. In the meantime. Oh, they bounce back. Oh, he bounced back too. Good. Alright, guys. Throw your backs into it. Come 
come help them. Ah, oh, they're so slow. Alright, he's done. He'll he'll bounce back though. We have a couple abilities here that we can use. Once you get into the thick of things, a little bit thicker. Okay, no. Alright, that should be good enough. Push, push, push. Oh, that. All right, we beat these. Try to route these cleanly. All right, go, go, go. They need you. All right, our elite forces are coming. Our peasants will clear the way. Four. All right, help is finally here. We made it. Alright, he has a smash. How are we doing on this side? Let's see. I'm trying to shoot at those. Charge here. These peasants. Do we have anything left? Oh, we'll take a heal. This one's almost routed. Now we're taking the center, anyways. Not a big deal. It's ready one. Oh, we routed them. Just the general now. We won. There goes the capital. Oh, Ding Yi? Okay, he's Cao Cao strategist. I think he's, you can classify him as Sima Yi's political enemy, in a sense. Who's still not routed? Why are we not winning? Unbreakable? Oh, the sun. Of course it's the sun. Shoot at him. Make sure the sun can't come back. Oh, shredded him. Oh, I'm just killing random things now. Alrighty. Make sure we got a lot of zeal. Ooh, unbreakable general. Farm manager. And then there were two. 
So these peasants, so this army still needs to be here. I need them to crush the last two remaining territories. They don't need to be here anymore. Um, to be honest, I don't think they fared very well. Like, we gave him a great weapon, but he couldn't deliver us anything. Who has... yeah. Swap this for turtle. Alright, this they have good weapons here. Alright, they're gonna go this way. We're gonna recall these guys. I think we'll drop them off in Luoyang. Alright, so we have a colonize group here. We put in all the administrators. We didn't do all the assignments. Huh, three is our lowest level now. Okay. Alright, still getting sieged. I think we built everything because we were poor, but maybe now that we have a little bit of extra money, maybe I can rush this? I don't know if I can build the next tier though. How much would it cost us? 5k. Yeah, if we rush it, we can't build it, so there's no point to rush it. Just have to wait. Next turn. 48k income should be enough. I mean, we have so many buildings to build that that's why it's not enough. Delger, we just captured it. We got commerce income, commerce income. See, this is actually a utility commandery because there's no actual income source from any of the counties. So in that case, I think we can get rid we can keep this and go for food. Ah, I kinda I don't need food. Alright, we'll get research rate, get rid of this, and put a school here. It's cause it's cause I'm keeping this building. It's already level three, and we got you know a little bit of commerce here. Feel shame just to get rid of it. The extra food isn't doing us any good. We have 39 food with the Imperial City, so we're solid there. All right, I think that means we can continue here. Alrighty, we picked up one turn reform, and we'll continue to do that. We'll pick up a few more one turn reform. We're five percent away from the 500. Public order, 40% income from peasantry. I think we'll take that one. A few more characters will join us. So maybe that will actually give us the 5%, most likely. One of them would have, you know, insight. Let's see if I'm right. Nope. Yeah, we didn't have any scholars. There were two healers and a veteran. There we go. Now we're over 500. That just means we can pick up, you know, 10 turn reform for two turns and 15 turn reform for three turns. This is pretty much as efficient as it's going to get to get, you know, 15 turn reform down to two turns. It's basically got to go to 750. So right now it's really, I mean, 600 is another tier because all the six turn returns, six turn reforms become one turn, but it's not worth it beyond this point. All right, we'll take the horse pasture. I mean, we're still moving to the last Emperor's seat. If you guys want to see a complete map, you know, painted over yellow, we can still do that after we take the Emperor's seat, but there's no reason why we shouldn't go after the Emperor's seat. Oh, their city is getting attacked by Yellow Turban Rebels. Oh, we finally caught him? I mean, he's now attrition to, like, nothing, right? No, we still can't catch him. He's... Oh, he's over a river. Alright, that's too much work. We're not going over there. I'm gonna march. There's so much fighting left for us to do. Alright, we'll get the tea house, attack over there. They can pick up Zangke for us. And then copper mine after that. And let's see. 
That's just a corruption reducing agent, I believe. Yep. Ooh, we have our brother guarding our capital. The clone. We have one more territory left to pick up. Ooh, Xu Huang's with them. Does he have his weapon? We don't know that, but he should. If he's alive, I believe he should have his weapon. Okay, we got our first army peeking. I'm gonna leave them to their own accord. We're gonna smash them. So this will be a fight that we're gonna end up doing very soon. We're lagging one turn behind. Not optimum. Alright, so these two we'll take care of later. Liu Bao is approaching us. We're gonna ambush him. Um, do we have a good patch of woods? Liu Bao's first ever battle with us was an ambush. So, we're gonna continue the tradition. We might be outside the range. I mean, we don't need any more troop. He's not very healthy. Uh, let's see. Did we move them? Yes, we did. We're waiting for the fight. Oh, that's it. That's uh, that's everyone. Um, we summoned back a lot of armies. We'll go grab these first, then we'll hop into the water. All right, let's summon our army first. Where do we need it? So Dobel is contained. Liang Rebel has an army here. Chen Farmland. I think Luoyang is the place to go. I don't think we need to be here. They will take care of it. We can start here. Um, who was leading this army? I. I think it was, it could, I mean, it doesn't matter. We can swap afterward. They don't get along. Hmm, well, too bad. Learn to work together. Well, he's really close to getting reach. She has the best potential, reach and flexibility, but kind of far away. At least everyone gets an item. We have any sort of cunning. There we go. Probably should go on leader, but it's fine. These should go on some of our. Why can't I equip that? Currently on cooldown. What about the other one? There's two of them. Hmm. All right. We can heal up here. We have more peasants. We have another army. We kind of want this. I also kind of want to rescue them, and I also want all of this. I need. I think our army here will do fine. Alright, we have them out. Before we do the fighting... Alright, no corruption, no corruption, no corruption. So the Administrator actually eliminates corruption. We actually don't need those two guys staying there. Because we can test it out on Poyang. See, Poyang has no corruption. And there's no general there. Wait, have we hit 0% corruption? Oh, you jump? Huh. Okay. I mean, we, we have people already. Okay. Yeah, now it's zero. Okay, I mean, we'll put more people. I mean, tr the ones with the minister don't need any corruption reducing, it seems. So we can summon them back. Ling Feng Yang, okay. Gotta try to remember these names so we can summon the right ones. Right. Okay. Let's do some fighting. Leon Rebels. They have a bunch of armies here. Oh, a bunch. Night battle in the mountain. I wonder if we get a valley map. Tribuche siege fight. Uh, they're not that impressive. Anyone famous? Nope. Alrighty. So let's see. It's actually kind of tilted. I kind of wanted to be here looking at just the... You know, 2D map. Now that I see that, that's 
lower. I don't actually want to be there. We can also do something really weird, like put our seed weapons behind them, like on this hill. It will be undefended. But... Hmm. Wish we had these guys with Grail Deployment too. I guess we don't pound them right away, so that's not really... There's no point, you know. There's these weapons played there. Yeah, this is probably the best place to put it, I think. We don't even have flaming shots, so we can't really utilize the trees. We might as well be out in the open. Oh, right. Um, they won't charge at us because they also have a seed weapon. I don't know how much I should value my seed weapons. Like, I could technically win this off the back of my infantry. Which I should keep safe from enemy seed weapons. What do we have? Oh, we have decent skills. Right, we're not gonna care too much about our siege weapons. They're moving their cavalry forward. Eleven ammo. Okay, we're good. They're going after the cavalry. Oh, actually, good hits. I uh, will ignore that. We can disorient a bunch of them. Cavalry actually got wiped. Hmm. I think we can take him, but I don't need to take him. Good. Again. Alright, we're gonna kill him very soon. Stop that. He's dead. Oh, we need to get back on our horse. Alright, that's not happening. Alright, siege weapon's gone. I'm gonna rescue her. Maybe this will actually rescue her. Let's see if this works. Down force. Okay, here comes the rocks. I think that helped. Yeah, she didn't lose any health. Clear path. Danger close. Where's our guy? Oh, he's right here. Hey, she's on her. There we go. Alright, stop firing. We're out. Oh, they went back to their siege weapons. That's fine. We'll let them fire at us. We're almost done with our shots. One of them is 
not on their machines now, is that right? There we go, get back on your machines. Those of you who are done, pull back out of the battlefield. Where's our third? All right, she's cleaning up. Three shots. Let's see. Kill crossbowmen. Where are you going? Willing, he's half health. kill him pretty easily and then she's gonna pick up her horse and go kill the siege weapons I want them to route then we can unleash these guys all right we'll kill the cavalry and then we'll kill that I think it's time Charge. Get on the horse. We'll wait a little bit. We need our condemn back. Swordsman. Good rear charge here. Charge. I like how they're just all flying back. Holy. They're just shredding them. Look at their bodies just fly. Fire lit. That's the strategies, did it? Alright, we are weak against range though, so. I guess lost the arm. Oh, we lost one. No. Take their arms. All right, that's it. Not bad. 
All right, that went well, but we're not going to overchase. We're going to wait for our other army who's lagging behind so that they can go together. And plus, we can't replenish because it's not our territory anymore. So, four more stacks and probably more. I guess we give up the replenishment. We gotta throw our might into maybe the city, take something, and then, you know, fight the other group afterward. I right, re recruited everyone. We have some interesting development here. Not really. Uh, I guess we want the copper mine. I want it done. Amino trade, extra in. School building, research rate. <sighs> what do we want here? Will be a school. Maybe farming, like straight up flat food. Yeah, maybe a little bit of food, just to feel safe. 20, it's a nice buffer, but could be more. Um, Ling Ling. I think we can start with here, even though, you know, I, I know clearly it's really diminishing returns at this point, but maybe we can get to 600. There's still a lot of six term reforms we didn't pick up, so that would help. All right, we put in all the industry buildings. I think it's time to put in the commerce side. And the opposite is true here. Hmm, we're missing the industry though. We can trade for it. Alright, let's try to trade for Basi. Um, where is he? We have... Yeah, we need that. We're gonna take the salt mine soon enough. Oh, okay, this is a bit extra. Let's do Toolmaker for Toolmaker. Alright, they just love us. We don't even need to give up territory. Because how we have mastered, you know, corruption, we don't actually have to give up territory. Extra territory right now is not going to hurt us because we have really good faction-wide corruption reduction. Alright, every army has moved. We have summoned more army. I think things are looking great. We have a little bit of spare cash. Macho is just on the run for some reason. He should try to suicide. He has no land left. Anyhow, let's continue. And they want a round two? Why would they do this? Okay. Same spot in Hexi, the valley. Same army. Came back to get killed more. Liu Hong. Ah, uh, he's the mathematician from the south. Um, I mean, he's 78. It's time to go. Quite is starting administrator. And Liu Bao ran to our ambush. So we're going to just delegate this. Uh, it's not worth fighting. It's all very minimum troops just rushing at them. Uh, they will still be on the map, which gives us another chance to capture. There's some capture rate with all these characters. Um, we can probably not do night battle because we get the garrison from the group. Decisive victory sounds good. Old fool ran to an ambush the first time we fought them. Hasn't learned. 
And they have decided to finally attack the city, and the reason is because they got reinforcements. From the Leon Rebels, of course. I mean, in this case we give it up, you know, they were just buying time, hoping for help, but help never came. This at least goes to Yuan Yi, which isn't as bad. Alrighty, so now we got Gongdu joining us too. We're gonna pick up Scholars. Alrighty, so I think this is a good place to end the episode. We are very close to the last Emperor seat. We picked up our second one here. Uh, we're gonna proceed to, you know, color the entire south yellow. That's gonna go pretty easy. Uh, the Leon Rebels have actually made some progress here, which is actually a bit rough. We're going to counterattack uh, in the Central Plains, and hopefully we can make some inroads here. This is actually a bit rough. We might want to pull back a little bit to our own territory to fight, or else we have to fight back to back to back to back, and that's going to wear us down. Over here, there's no likely target for them. Like They have to go to Taiwan. Unless they go... I mean, if they go here, we can immediately answer with the army. So I'm not too concerned here. Elsewhere, Hui is finally moving to somewhere productive. We'll wipe out Yuan Yi's old uh, faction location. And right now, all the hopes on this one army. We might want to give them some help. Nobel fell for it. So we're going to actually counterattack and uh, clean things up a little bit in the Central Plains. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!